All right. So... Story so far. Something's gonna be something. Mizuki. I found out this character is called Mizuki McCloud. What a video game name. Are we still at Abysmo? Abysmo? Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're in Edge of Tomorrow. Gloria? We shot you with enough tranquilizer to bring down a dinosaur, you know. You are indeed an impressive specimen. What is this place? Welcome to our virtual simulation environment. We would appreciate your cooperation for a few moments. I see. Bullshit. I'm afraid you don't have any choice. In this simulated space, we convert quantum oscillations into real Is she literally wearing a lab coat and a bra and that's it? That's peak character design right fucking there. Oh no baseball mini game, come on. Oh. You can be hurt here and you can die. Oh not the trunk, huh? Seriously, she's got the Gloria, Gloria haircut. Get to, see them again. So, shall we begin the test? to be honest, it's like the stakes couldn't have been lower. Oh my god, this is a stage from Ninja Gaiden 1. I just realized that on the second playthrough. Holy fucking shit. So this is like the balloon airship from NG1. Did you know that you need to obliterate enemies? This tutorial has told me for the 35th time. <laughs> oh, also I found out in this playthrough, yes, them shooting SMG fire at me does in fact stun lock me in place if I block it once. And makes the game, like, screech to a halt where I just get spammed with un... You know, I'm in block stun the whole time. So it's just either get hit stun or block stun or get out of the way. Yay! Oh! Flames. So this stage is called the Don't You Wish You Were Playing Ninja Gaiden 1 stage. It also chose like the most boring stage out of the entire Ninja Gaiden 1, but like, I guess... It's the easiest one to emulate quickly on a budget, so is this literally just a blimp and stormy cloud, so Look at this guy. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Oh, that looked a bit jank. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that was okay. I can't tell what's happening in some of these camera angles. Uh. Oh no, the life of those characters invented for the game. Hitting enemies with Nimpo will heal me. Like, I keep joking about it, but this might be the most obnoxious tutorializing I've seen in a Gen, Gen 7 game, whatever this was. Of this era of tutorializing, this is the worst implementation I have seen. And I mean worse than Bioshock, which has the most, you're at the final level, and they're still telling you, this is a first aid kit, you might want to have one of these. This is, every time you do an action, it will tell you what that action is, even like after you've done it 30 times. Hey, do you guys wish that you were playing Ninja Gaiden 2? Here's a stage from it. 
just the one though. The fact that it's pretty much rendered, not even that much better than Ninja Gaiden 2's version, it just makes you go, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, can I buy anything else? I guess. Just because I feel like I should be buying stuff, maybe it'll unlock other stuff that's cooler for me to. I thought it was like a skill tree, you know? <clears throat> Maybe it is when it's not on babby mode. I'm sticking to the Wolverine claws for now, just, you know, trying to mess around and see what I get out of them, but... Yeah, it honestly feels like it has a smaller moveset that's less accessible than Ninja Gaiden 2, so you're just sat there like... Is this... Backwards? Is this going backwards? Are we going back? Are we returning to Monk? To be fair, it's only at level 2 right now, so I'm gonna cut some slack until I max it and then see if it's the same. Every time, right? Look. Every time. You'd think after mission 2 or 3 they would go, yeah, I think he gets it now. I'm actually thinking, is that a bug? Is that just like a low level bug that they just didn't bother to finish? Or to fix? Because they're like, oh, who gives a shit? And, you know, like... I'm wondering... Well, that stops him being a problem. Oh, okay. Not really. Is it a better video game than this? Oh no, it's not real. Does this make you nostalgic for like five minutes ago? Oh, I got the Lunar Staff, nice. Oh, I did the thing again, fuck. By the way, selecting the weapon, the menu is down on the screen. So you think down on the D-pad, right? No, they're the evil bastards who do everything with inverted control. So you press up on the D-pad for something to appear on the bottom of the screen. It fucks me up so much that I make that mistake every time and bring up the combo menu. Ironically, I never read the combo menu. I press circle too quick. So just redo this boss fight you just did. Like, at least an hour ago you did this boss fight. Your mask is no different. Oh, we all wear masks, Mr. Wayne. Which is the true face of Ryu Hayabusa? Oh, he's gonna moralize again. <sighs> I'm gonna hit you with my stick until you stop talking. Or something less blunt. It's not the time to be trying this stuff out. Uh... stabbed. Luckily being stabbed knocks me into the invincible perfect auto guard thing so I now this fight is trivial. Yeah. Easy mode is bullshit and normal mode is just like fuck you so it's like I don't care about this game enough to learn it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't know what happened there, but somehow I hit him. Not doing very much damage. I can't believe they would just literally say, play the boss fight again. But they do, and you do, so... Not really much to say other than this is literally, gameplay-wise, exactly the same boss fight. It's... there's no real difference. It's an okay boss fight, but it's just kind of two guys sword fighting, and it's the same thing again. You mean the guy that's obviously the, the British guy who you see elsewhere? Oh, I broke the Matrix. Okay, I guess I can't run on that wall. I will run on this wall. The lab rat is loose. Oh, GCO7. I hope you are ready to hear the phrase lab rat like a hundred times from people now because that's the new thing. This game has a penchant for giving you random names and I feel like it's gonna come back at some point like they're gonna be like you have many names Lab Rat, Ryu Hayabusa, Ninja <laughs> and you're just gonna be like oh god they're, they're doing it again <laughs> Maybe I should level up my Ninpo. Perhaps that will shut up the tutorial. I don't know. You know, there's like giving someone a nickname and then there's overusing that nickname within the first five seconds of that nickname being introduced. Within the past minute, we have heard the phrase Lab Rat said 11 times or something bullshit like that. This fight would be completely fine if I wasn't being spammed by rocket launchers the whole time. Yes, I guess it's my own fault for not dealing with them, but it's bullshit. Great, thanks. No way for me to react after the first one hit me for the second one there. That's See, look, stun locked by the bad SMG that will then allow me to get spammed by rocket launcher fire. Oh, am I playing Call of Duty? Just so poorly put together. Oh, he's there. I forgot Snowjob can teleport. For no reason. He really wants to be the Chaos from DMC5. He is not the Chaos from DMC5. Because that's like, you know... Good. <laughs> He's dead, I killed him. Yeah, check out my big stick. I can't go up there. I will check. I cannot go up there, I guess. No, oh, just progress, I guess. Kinda of giving me. Ah, I'm glad you mentioned I was a lab rat. I forgot that was your new name for me. <laughs> like, this game doesn't know. This game does not know chill or wearing out its welcome, and it really just goes for it in a lot of the small aspects. And it's just, that's kind of its problem. It's like, it just goes in ham with everything it's trying to do, and just burns you out so quickly that you get to the point where you're like, I just don't want to deal with this. You know what I mean? Sure, tennis. Look, look at this. Look at this ship. The stun lock on this ship. The nerve of these fucks. 
See? How am I supposed to block stun-locking submachine gun fire and a rocket to the back of the head? Uh, this is just dumb. It's just dumb and it's not a fun gameplay mechanic. Look at this. You just end up like completely disengaging from the melee combat just to clink away at guys who are firing rocket launches at you from a distance because otherwise the game is basically going to just murder you. And it just feels like, why isn't this more natural and flowing? Maybe it's me though. Maybe I'm complaining like a journalist would, it's just actually I'm bad at video game. And one of those guys just ignored it. Hitting enemies with Nimpo will heal me. Jabba Jabba. He's gone now, I knocked him off the bridge. Oh no, he's over there. Whatever. These guys are doing their very frustrating and unresponsive and unsatisfying thing of I have an everything proof shield and you will just bounce off of my magical sticks of everything proofness. So whenever they're in block position it's nah uh uh I'm not gonna get any block stun, I'm just gonna stand here, it's gonna be really unsatisfying and you're just gonna sit here and like deal with me for five minutes going nah uh uh block. I'm trying to work out, am I supposed to wait for them to hit me and counter them? Probably. But I want to keep doing the cool flippy shit, because why would I want to stop and play a game of Simon Says for five seconds? Doing all my flippy, flippy stick stuff, and it's for no one. See? I was blocking, so those shuriken bounced off of my exposed back. That's how that works. Now we're left with this chode. And his weaker friend. Nah, you don't get to fight me. You get to be a dickhead. No, I fell off my bridge. This seems like a terrible way to treat your employees. Glad I got points for being bad at the video game. Wait, what? Say what now? Oh! <laughs> Ironically, I couldn't see the prompt because I was too busy focused on the bigger prompt. <laughs> so, like, it gives you the big L1 and R1, and I'm like, what does that text say? What? What is that glowing thing? Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, oh, burb. Hello. Oh. I didn't think this weapon would make the cut, you know? I like the weapon, it's just that it's very contextual to a story of Ninja Gaiden 2. It's a lichen fruit weapon, so I was like, really? Maybe the Vigorian Flail will get in as well, then. I mean, there's only so many, like, columns here, look. And they're kind of front-loading them now. Mm. Anyone's guess, I never played this game before, and I, from the sales numbers, I don't think many people did either. Oh, we're in Jurassic Park now. Oh. More guys. Oh, you're dead. Okay, I've never seen that before. I didn't use much of the scythe on screen for uh, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, two. It's actually really good fun, especially maximum maximum level. And you can do some weird cool shit with it. And for some reason it can create a power geyser. Which I might show at some point when I remember. Oh. It's hard to tell what's a corpse and what's a near corpse. Lol. Sliced. I'm 
glad my big fuck off scythe can't stop two orange glow sticks. That's really satisfying when that happens. have an everything proof shield. Like, I can't explain it very well because I'm not good with words, with my words. Uh, but like when you hit them and they're blocking and it looks like there's no way in hell this giant crescent strike that hits them from the side is being blocked by two glow sticks held out in front of them. There's also this really horrible lack of feedback vibration sound effects or anything that or clashing sounds that just means that you feels like you're just being cock blocked a bit and you're just like oh it's just like you're making these big whooshing sounds showing you're doing some really sick shit and then it just goes dong and it doesn't even make a dong sound it just goes silence and you're just like oh this sucks <laughs> This is some chasing dead shit. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> sir. Just gonna salmon assault me. Just wanted a hug. No, 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 it does the power geyser. That was a, not a stage two. It's just stage one, okay. Look, it's a power geyser. Oh no, I fell down. I look like a bad version of Seth from Street Fighter 4. Where are Kana and Mizuki? This Who cares? We we'll get serious. Ah, yes. Isn't it just one? No. <laughs> so, this feels like some devil's fur as fuck shit. Also, these big heavy monk dudes, monk dudes, I'm pretty sure those, those serpent dudes as well, but definitely these big do bruiser dudes, they just have a very similar moveset, or a, they have a lot of the same moveset to the werewolves in the second game, so basically the same, but they have more like throw game. <laughs> Oh, slashed. Bye bye your face. This is actually a, where the game turns into a huge slog. Because for some reason they design, decided we're going to filter in the enemies really slowly. So every time you finish fighting two of these guys, another two spawn for a very long time. And every time you see a humanoid corpse on the floor, it could just block its way into being something else. So yeah, get used to that. <laughs> and yes, there's only these two enemy types. They don't add extras later. There's Sneaky Boy and there's Big Chungus. You can see the Lego blocks appearing. They forebode a boring fight. And look, you might notice as well, nothing I'm doing to these big big dudes, big boys, is not producing any form of hit stun. They're just tanking it like they have super armor all the time. Which makes them very unfun to fight. The Snakey Boys have the same problem that the Snakey Boys on Doom Eternal have, which is occasionally they'll just do a vague I'm a snakey boy sliver sliver movement and that means you can't hit me fuck you it doesn't matter if your weapon connects with me I'm a snakey boy <laughs> and yeah that's 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 the end of it like you'll be hitting them and then they go I'm a snakey boy and it doesn't count anymore again very unsatisfying because it just feels like uh, am I 
See, he just backdashed there like crazy. He's got huge range. It's kind of like fighting bad mutant Dalsim and Zongief at the same time. <laughs> just like the weirdest thing. Stretchy arms range dude and big guy wants to do frame, close frame like pile drivers. Oh look, I didn't know that guys. Did you know hitting enemies with Nimpo will heal you? Every time it says that, take a shot. Oh, I was so glad that this happened. I was like, oh, thank God. I thought I'd just be here forever. Turns out it just arbitrarily stops after a while. I'm in the goo. Like Chainsaw Warrior. Play with them. Play with them. I'm not playing. Lady, I'm not playing with them. I'm killing them. Oh, they're killing me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Pile drivers. Or whatever the fuck that was. They gave him more moves, I'll give him that. They gave him more moves. Mm. So I'm just gonna see if they let me leave. Oh. <laughs> they won't let me leave. I'm not gonna lie, this feels a lot like uh, a variation on the other grip of death segments where it's like your health is always depleting fight these dudes and just keep fighting them until the game says stop fighting them and yeah like whenever you just think ah, I'm just gonna leave and see what happens because in Ninja Gaiden 1 at least you can just leave some encounters and they don't stop you uh, yeah Take a shot. <laughs> you you sit there and think, uh, can I just leave or is this endless? Am I supposed to leave? Thank you for the data. And a wonderful Oh, get it? Because she's a woman and women are sex objects. It's funny. <laughs> Seriously. I was having this conversation with someone the other day. Being a video game fan, sometimes you just feel like, for fuck's sake. You're, you're pushed in with a bunch of horny weirdos sometimes. This is a perfect example of why is everything so horny. I mean, right now it's not. That's because there's no women on screen yet. So we'll wait and I'm sure it'll get weird as soon as there is one. I mean, I guess they live in a universe where women are so rare that there's like 1 in 250 because you only ever see like one woman per like level maximum and you're just like, well, I guess they would be super horny all of the time in that sense. I'm lost. I'm lost in a linear hallway. The developers are right. Gamers are idiots. I couldn't see the big yellow poles and climbing place. I'm clearly dumb. Emergency. Emergency. Level four situation. Oh. So, we're just having a cuddle? What was that about? They keep doing that. It's just kind of weird. They don't do anything. They just sit on you. Look. They just kind of teleported upwards there as well. Like. Because I mashed too hard, it just cancelled it instantly. I am tempted to just see what happens if I just leave. Every time I'm forced to engage in the combat, I'm just like, what? What if I just leave? Will they stop me? Can they stop me? Let's walk across this plank. Wow! <laughs> Okay, he clipped out of nowhere though, that was real bad, but okay, um, put me in my place. <laughs> it 
if you try and leave, a uh, enemy will teleport above you and just body slam the <laughs> the platform you were sat on. Oh, these guys take so much damage. Maybe I shouldn't be using this level 1 weapon, I don't know. Does it matter that much? I don't know. I don't see the data. The power geyser does nothing. Can't you infight? Let me sleep. Oh no! For fuck's sake, I thought I was, this was the last dude. I can see other corpses on the floor there are coming. Pretty sure some of those aren't even corpses that they're teleporting from. <laughs> oh, he's doing the thing. Are you the last guy? Better be the last guy. I see a bird shadow. I want to stop. I feel like I'm not doing any damage because he's not reacting to my hits. He's doing his own thing. Which is mostly just spamming spinning pile driver. <laughs> Yay! Finally one of his arms fell off. Can I level? I'll level up this. <clears throat> I know it's not the game's fault, I know it's probably my fault for being too bad at collecting the scarabs, but it was like... I was just thinking, man, it's not a lot of... oh, shit. Uh, I was just thinking, man, it's not a lot of weapons being given to me right now that's weird okay and then like the game gave me a lunar staff from the scarabs and then canonically gives me the scythe and i'm like oh oh now i have lots of new weapons all at once so oh well that's all that oh it's you you're not a hunter gamma. That did nothing, holy shit. <laughs> it doesn't even react to the explosions. Fall off. Okay. Didn't know they could do that. Oh, oops. I pressed L3 instead of R3, and that meant that I accidentally used the, the healing move that I forgot about. Uh. <laughs> oh, a scarab. That's what's in here. Oh, yay, and another optional fight. I'm glad I came in here. Yay! <laughs> Ow. Ow. But I feel like I'm just hitting people's blocks all the time. Oh, that, that, that hit him. Yeah! The game knows sometimes to actually be fun to play. You see something good and you're like, oh, look, that felt good. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. I think he escaped. God mode has been engaged. The game will let me win now. <laughs> Scumbag playthrough. Yeah. This is where I get to the final level and it goes, You suck. Play the game properly. Do it all again and normal. And I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> Ow. He just kind of jibbed. Can I go through here? No. Oh. 
That was a weird linear corridor for nothing. Surviving patrol units. Report to elevator hall. Protect the service level at all costs. No. She sounds like a bitch to work with. Are they reacting to the dragon blood? These guys are a bit of a slog to fight, I have to admit. I'm just kind of hitting them and they're just like, yeah, and... It's not really going anywhere, so we're just going to fight them in this grey corridor. And, you know... I didn't really check the labs on the side or if I could jump in, but like, I feel like that'd be a good place to hide a secret, but I couldn't work it out because I was just too busy getting punched by dudes, so... <laughs> yeah, Izuna drop. Yeah, you can do them in this game, I'm just bad. Yeah, I'm bad. Dude. Take a shot. <laughs> oh, great, more of them. Yay! Yay! Oh, yay, I'm back to red health. God mode engaged. Bad at the video game, everyone. Yeah! Let the game play itself, just hit button. I refuse to get good. Come on, man, you take way too much damage if you're gonna fight 50 of them. They need to take less damage. Some of those punch combos are literally lifted from the lycanthropes in the second game. It's unapologetic. Burb. Oh, okay. Now what? Do I... Do I falcon dive? Do I... Do I... No? In the middle? No. No? Okay. What was the point in this? Why did we come all this- oh. I had to trigger a cutscene. Manage to stop the blood. <laughs> what is with that voice acting? You, you're the ninja! here. <laughs> you should run. Did you come for the girl? Yeah. It's like every line he says is by a different voice actor. The hell? Access to the elevator. What is he wearing? I'll take you down to the lowest level. Is it like a silver turtleneck paired with a lab coat that's way too tight? Why is his hair a flat texture? Why are you doing this? Why is he ginger? Why does he have <laughs> silver gloves? I have a little girl Why do his shoes you. match his gloves? Or she was last time I saw her. After I left you off, I'm going back to her. 
This guy will totally survive. Don't worry, everyone. He's gonna do just fine. Doing just fine in three, two, one. It's through this hall, right? There you go. And he's dead before I could do anything about it. He's just sleeping, don't worry. He's okay. Just throw dudes. Yeah, stuff. I'm a stuff boy for life. Probably because it's like the easiest and most busted one in these games. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. You can hit buttons and it does flippy shit. I'm happy, you know? I also like blunt weapons in games like this because they go hard. I'm glad he's blocking my giant stick with something. <laughs> Bonk! You got bonked. Go to generic terrorist jail. I guess it's just called jail. <laughs> you too, Snowjob. <laughs> I'm glad Ryu was psychic and knew where to shoot that arrow because I sure as shit just shot it for fun. Oh, it's the Lego dudes. Lego Warlocks activate. Oh, I'm being mobbed. You notice when we fought them with Ayani, they were a boss and they had health bars, and now they just seem to have frustrating amounts of health that's invisible to the player, but it's basically the same fight. You know, like, I would prefer if they always had health bars. I'd also prefer if this everything proof shield could fuck off. They're, these guys literally make me, like, angry with frustration. Angry with frustration. You know what I mean. There's a really great example of it. Like, that guy's touching the ground in a kind of sexual energy way and and then he just kind of just becomes an asshole this guy doesn't because he's one-armed willy so he's dead forget about him but this guy just turns into i'm a block everything because i'm a twat <laughs> and you're like oh okay feels like i should break your shield at some point bro and he's like nah oh, I'll, I'll jump behind you bro nah okay i'll wait for you to counter me bro nah one from me then, do you, am I should, should I be guillotine throwing you? A, a technique I have to buy? Oh, I have to buy the counter too. He's dead. I don't understand. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this shit. Okay. Nimpo. Oh, fuck off. Oh! Spicy boy. Okay, 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 okay. No? No counter. Oh, oh, okay. No, no whiff punish. Okay. I still don't understand how I'm hitting him. <gasps> Seriously. Seriously. It broke. Apparently, the solution was much like Dragon Ball. You just have to keep hitting him really hard. <laughs> well, these guys are going to feel like a walk in the park. Oh, hello, door. <laughs> this game is falling apart. The camera angles, the spamming rocket launchers. The everything proof Lego shields. 
Oh, and now I'm dying of arm cancer. Luckily, my arm cancer... It responds well to the blood of the quasi-innocent. I, I told you last part. I'm calling it. They will say at the end of this game, those people who were dressed as terrorists who attacked you in the void that was a hallucination, they were innocent. And it's clearly not because we gave you this horrible hallucinatory disease. No, that's not about it. By the way, I did a hundred hit combo earlier and no, nothing can take that away from me. Even this piss annoying fucking like tutorial message. <laughs> No one can stop me in my stick of doom. What will you do when the stick come for you? <laughs> Sticked. This is my boom stick. I'm running out of stick puns. Just get on with it. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Doi. This guy says doi. I'm glad they dissolve into dust at the end. It's actually quite a nice visual effect. That guy doesn't deserve it because he was dismembered, so. Oh. Time for my limping montage. Oh. Oh. Shouldn't have gone to Taco Bell. Oh. Thor is a bad plan. Oh. Are you got angry birds on your phone? Go. You're safe now. Where's Cliff? Yeah, where is Cliff? Amazuki? You don't know. Oh, isn't that suspicious? It's almost like a scary lady took her. That Let's woman. Find your mother. Kind of Why can't she speak again? Close your eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, we have to protect you from the heinous trauma of me being a mass murderer. Also, Ryu looks hella weird when he pulls his mask down and he's still got the weird falcon crest on his head. It just... It, it's, his face is unbalanced then. Now, Kana, don't look at the horror and gore! Or my sash freaking out in this terrible physics engine. Or the camera swaying in and out like Where crazy. You don't need to know. Where is Kana? Now. I'm right Kana here. Okay if you've done anything to her. Hm. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I've got a terrible haircut. That's two-dimensional. Look at the back. It's two-dimensional. Oh, God. Ah, I see. Let's walk down this Resident Evil hallway. With a child. <laughs> ah, escort missions. Oh, hello. I don't think closing her eyes is gonna, like, prevent her from realizing that zombies are jumping on her ass. Also, how am I doing that and not cutting her? I have questions, but I don't really want an answer, I just don't care. I'm sure this room will have no repercussions. Let's move on. Burb. Excuse me, child, I need to talk to this bird. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. Okay, now we can... you can... you can lift again. <laughs> Escort mission S ranked. What is this? Oh God! The egg of a god. Fetus of God. <laughs> the ending of Ninja Gaiden Two here in a lab. Where's so Magua? I'm so sorry. They had Kana. I had no choice. It's fine. I what had to shoot want? you. The 
<laughs> I love <laughs> I love Ryu's response to being shot. I had to shoot you. I had no choice. It's fine. <laughs> from the dragon god, are you not? While not in this prototype here, it will prove a most useful ingredient when the time comes to give birth to a new god. Everyone in Ninja Gaiden's obsessed. You know, I think you might add something to the mix as well. Goodbye! <laughs> I'm glad this antagonist was introduced and offed in a single mission. <laughs> oh my god, she's like, hi. I'm evil. Look at me being evil. Oh, I was betrayed. Now I'm a boss. That's a fast turnaround. Gotta love that efficiency. Behold, the prototype of a god. It is imperfect. Born of a warped heart, it stands before you. <laughs> we get it. She's like a B lister. <laughs> She's not very good, okay, but like, I'm running out of options. Oh god. She reminds me of something, but I don't know what, you know, like, it's a very generic video game horror character design here that I'm just spacing on. Yeah, let's just use the sword. I feel like they want me to use the sword for these. Sometimes the camera pulls in and you're like, ah, oh, they want me to use the sword. It's just a vibe I'm getting from the game. She's got electromagnetic powers for reasons. And horrifying jiggle physics. Really, right in the face. I'm calling HR after this fight. Oh. Our seems quite Good for her. Every virus strain in every lab. Oh, I can shoot him. Lol. I hit him too. Uh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh. Joke's on you. I'm invincible now, bitch. No more arms for you. Ow. Look at the big dumb monster hands. <laughs> this is a mess of character design and I know that's kind of the point almost. I just don't like looking at this character design, like, you know, it's just, what do you want from me from this design? Do you want me to be scared? Am I supposed to be horny because she's all legs and jiggle physics? Because she's hideous, so... <laughs> and she just backflipped through a door. Oh, I really hope that's not Cliff. See you later, not Cliff. The twist better be it's not Cliff and it's all a red herring, but who else could it be? You've seen Mizuki in the same room. What is it, Kana? Is Kana psychic? Has an evil twin? Is Kana's dad that you saw on her phone screen? That could be cool. Seems too obvious, even for this game, for it to be Cliff, you know? Also, I'm fighting a lady with monster hands again. Oh, now sneak hands. Those physics, man etched into the retinas of my skull, if that's even a thing, which it isn't. It's the worst of the game. Oh, that's, they don't even really look like the hands of the 
like the throat enemy I was fighting before. They're just big dumb monster hands. They're like when you get those Hulk hands. You know the one. Oh, she's got her own hands back. Begs the question why she didn't do that to start with. Because now she has the ability to use her best move again. Ah, oh, she's nomming me. No. I don't like this. Go back to Silent Hill. Go back to the bad Silent Hill. Any one of them. I will evacuate. Oh no, she's a lost soul! Stop it! Stop it! Why wasn't there a quick time event? Okay, like, I don't care, we need to go. It's Resident Evil-ing all over the place, we need to leave. No, Zambi! This is no time, I have an appointment. Oh, fuck! Zombie, you made me late for my bus. Self-destruct system activate. All units, please evacuate all areas. Repeat. Oh, I nearly missed it again, holy shit. Self-destruct system activate. Get out of the way, like... Oh! None of this is a... Okay, this isn't a quick time, okay. Scared to touch a button in case it skips the cutscene, you know? They're really trying to make me care about these characters. Oh no, guys with guns! You too, Ms. McLeod. Yeah, <laughs> McLeod. Mizuki McLeod. Lol. Oh, that's the end. Just another... Five... I don't even know. Missions. We'll see.